an unusual look at heroin abuse at the Tiger Bay Club meeting today in Sarasota. A 23-year-old woman shares her journey from abuser to sobriety. SNN's Allison Henning joins us live in the newsroom with the story. Allison. John, that's right, and it comes at a time when Manatee County is coming together to fight what many are calling a countywide heroin epidemic. It wasn't easy, but it was definitely worth it. Recovering addict Brandilyn Carnum shared her story of hope to a room full of strangers Thursday afternoon, and it ended with a standing ovation. The 23-year-old struggled with a prescription pill addiction before turning to heroin. After many ups and downs, Carnum sought help from an addiction therapist and has been drug-free since April 2013. I felt the need to share my story because I felt like I was one of those impossible cases and since I overcame it, I knew anybody could overcome it. Carnum was a part of a panel discussing the Manatee County heroin epidemic at a Manatee Tiger Bay Club event. The panel members ranged from recovery specialists to law enforcement. Captain Todd Shear with Manatee County Sheriff's Office says everyone needs to work together to resolve this community-wide epidemic. Whether it be from treatment or from a law enforcement perspective. Um, so again, it's everybody coming to the table and attacking this from different angles. And I think we'll have a successful outcome when we do these things and we work together as a community. Carnum says she's now interested in pursuing a career in helping others recover. I don't want to see people my age dying and it's, you know, it's, it's preventable. She says hope is the message. I think if like one person can have the same outcome as I did, then all this sharing and, you know, interviews will all be worth it. Captain Shear says Manatee County Substance Abuse Coalition holds opioid task force meetings involving different organizations to tackle the heroin epidemic from a variety of angles. Well, Allison, who are the people that are involved in the meetings? John, the meetings include members from the medical community, law enforcement, Manatee County EMS, and even different countywide rehab facilities. So it's really a di diverse group of people trying to handle the epidemic we've been seeing.